And as soon as I got down to that, I didn't need anyone's advice on how to handle it. It was abundantly clear to me how to handle it. And I realized my issue was I wasn't trying to solve the issue. I was trying to solve 20 years of other issues that in my mind had somehow contributed to this one, but in reality had nothing to do with it. All right, my runners, what does rice stand for? Excellent, there you go. You're not a true runner until you've injured yourself at some point, and when you do, um, this is how you fixed yourself. And uh, I mean, the same is true in the work world. There's, there's no way you can get through a career without being hurt. You, even the people you love the most that you work with at times will do something that hurts you in some way. And when that happens, um, the first thing to do is rest. Like, give yourself a break from it. If you try and deal with it right away when those emotions are raw, it's not, it's not going to be good. Um, so, especially if it comes in the form of email. If you get an email that, you know, really, really sets those emotions going, give yourself 24 hours. Um, often I type up my response to the email and I have my husband read it uh, because I might think, oh, this is really objective. This doesn't have any edge to it. And um, often it still has an edge to it. And it's important you've got that person that'll tell you, nope, you haven't rested enough, rest longer. Um, and in addition to the rest, there's that ice period, you know, you, you've got to cool off. When, when you're in the heat of something, you're not dealing with the issue at hand. You're dealing with however many years you've known that person and worked with that person and the time they ate your sandwich and then you didn't have lunch and, you know, <laughs> all these things that have nothing to do with the issue at hand. So um, it's really important you compress it down to what are we dealing with. I was part of a leadership class at Disney, and it was out of corporate. So it wasn't just parks and resorts. It was you know, the movie studio and ABC and ESPN and all those groups. And they asked us to come with a work issue we were dealing with. So this was sort of a double whammy of either these people don't know my business or the people I work with at all, in which case I have to explain it enough that they understand. Or, for all I know, they could be best friends with the person I'm having the issue with, and this may get back to the person that I'm having an issue. So, like, I really, really had to go through it about six times before I got to, this would make sense whether you knew the people or, or not, and there's nothing inflammatory in that. And as soon as I got down to that, I didn't need anyone's advice on how to handle it. It was abundantly clear to me how to handle it. And I realized my issue was I wasn't trying to solve the issue. I was trying to solve 20 years of other issues that in my mind had somehow contributed to this one, but in reality had nothing to do with it. And then finally, you know, you need to make sure you handle anything with a client, with a coworker, whoever, in the most professional way because there will come a time where you can't handle it, just you and the person, and you have to elevate to your leader. And when you do, you want to make sure that you have had the higher moral ground through the whole interaction, right? The last thing you want is to have to go to your boss and be embarrassed because you interacted in a way that didn't reflect who, who you want to be as a professional.